Over here we see a pair of premaxilla, the bone at the front of the skull, be right here in this little velociraptor skull uh, from a baby Utah raptor, probably a few months old, certainly not a hatchling, but an animal I'm betting is less than a year old. And right next to it here, these are from over at the other side of the block where we pulled the mushroom off, uh, associated with a juvenile jaw, much bigger. And here's one in place, same size, almost exactly the same. I'm betting that these two animals were born from the same clutch of eggs. That's just a bet. We, 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 we need to collect a lot more data in here to, to substantiate that we have a hatching phase here that they all hatched at once. That are the, what we call the babies. Then we have a bunch that are juveniles. Here's a jaw of a juvenile animal. And you can see that animal, you know, if these things were a few months old by when this death assemblage occurred, juvenile yearling would be a year and a half old, or maybe it's two and a half. But I'm betting this, these grew rapidly at first. So this might actually be a yearling uh, or a year and a half old. Uh, and compare that with this adult velociraptor skull, and lots of bug damage on uh, this thing from Mongolia. But uh, that's what velociraptor gets to. That's the biggest you see for a velociraptor. Uh, and you see the, a yearling or a year and a halfling uh, is bigger already than the adult of a, of a velociraptor. And then here's the front end of a lower, this is a lower jaw. Here's the front end of a lower jaw of an adult Utah raptor from this block. Uh, we hope the whole back end of this jaw is still within the block. This was broken off uh, by a big rock fall uh, while we weren't, weren't there. Uh, but you can see the teeth are very procumbent, angled forward. We never knew that before. Got a very flattened end, very interesting. But the size of the teeth of the jaw are about as big as the premaxilla of a baby. Uh, this one is certainly sexually mature and maybe full adult size. Uh, I'm betting that this goes to the skull that we have here, which goes to this leg, which is associated with material that's as big as anything we've collected. Certainly the holotype, the first Utah raptor, which we have a big premaxilla, way bigger than these guys, has teeth this large in the front of it. And here are many small bones associated with that little baby.